Hello guys and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. I'm going to show you a few before clips of my kitchen and dining room just so you can see what my house typically looks like. Um, but we've been doing a lot of home projects and DIYs and have some coming up. So this is what my beauty room looks like right now. It has gotten out of control. This is what happens when I stop doing my one touch rule and putting everything back in its home. I knew you guys would probably really enjoy seeing this, but I'm going to show you these clips and then we're going to get to work on getting this room put back together. Okay, while I get started working on this, and by the way, this is super satisfying seeing the room go from so dirty to clean. I never have it that extreme, and it was kind of nice to do. But I also wanted to let you guys know that I have some DIY and some other projects in here as well. So it's not just cleaning motivation, it's also some home improvement motivation. So definitely stay until the end of the video, and if you enjoy it, I would love for you to subscribe and give this video a like. But as you can see, I'm just kind of working on one space to the next. Typically, I like to work on items that I know exactly where they go immediately and it's easy. The ones that I don't know where they're going yet, I kind of save for the end, such as like those extra frames that I haven't hung up anywhere and furniture. Like I said, we've got a lot of home projects going on. I've had the itch to switch a lot around here. Being stuck at home is just really getting to me. So you're going to see all the changes in the house and a few projects we're working on today. I will say I've just been so off my game. Once this room started to get dirty, I felt my mood just change with it. And like when I got done with my shirt or I didn't end up wearing it, I didn't hang it right back up immediately. So I will say your space kind of controls how clean you keep it. When it's clean, I want to keep it clean. And so I'll do the one touch rule. But as soon as it got out of control, I kind of just went with it. And like even me, I left my shoes on the ground. I never do that. I come in, kick them off and put them straight on my shoe wall. So just a little tidbit. If your room's dirty, if you get it clean, you're probably more likely to keep it clean. So definitely test that theory because that's definitely how it was with me. Okay, so as far as my vanity, it gets like this every single day when you're a girl and you're getting ready and you have hair products and makeup, but I'm typically always good about just putting it back in the drawers and closing them. And then I'm always good about putting like my curling wand or straightener, whatever I'm using that day. Once it's cool, I put it back in the drawer. So that space I was pretty good on. It was everything else around it. But I will say when everything has a home, it makes tidying up so quick and easy. This room was a disaster, but since I knew where everything went, it really really did not take much time at all. It was probably under 20 minutes, which seems crazy. So definitely just make sure everything has a home and if it doesn't, then something needs to go. Okay, now I'm gonna tackle all this extra furniture. I've been cramming this in here because I've been doing the itch to switch a lot, which means I've been rearranging. Plus, we're gonna be working on our dining room. That rug that I'm holding up there doesn't actually go in this room. I'm just waiting on our new dining room table. Um, and I might put that chair that I'm pulling out in there. This ottoman used to be, well, it used to be everywhere. It was in my living room once. It's currently been in like our master bedroom, but I decided to put it in here. I just feel like it fits the space better. So like I said, there's just been a lot of rearranging. Um, and then with us redoing the dining room, a lot of things are just out of sort, but I'm ready to get this house back together. Thank you. 
I definitely think this fits this space so much better. I like how it turned out. I feel like it's more realistic to have an ottoman just right there in a closet versus the big chair. I did love the chair, don't get me wrong. I sat in it a lot, so hopefully I'll use this ottoman just as much. But now I'm gonna vacuum the floors real quickly because I haven't been able to since there's been so much in here. So I wanted to ask you guys a question. What do you think about a rug being in here? Now that it's in here, I have it laid out flat just because it came rolled up and I want it to be nice and smooth when we go to decorate the dining room but should I put a rug in here and if I should let me know which shape I should do should I keep a round one or should I do more of a rectangle Okay, and here are a few after clips. I'm so happy to finally have this done. I can't believe it even got that much out of control, but it's just been gorgeous here. So we've been outside a lot or just working on other spaces. So I'll show you a few more clips, but I'm happy that it's back clean again. Okay, I feel like I've been getting a lot of questions about doing a grocery haul. I'm really good about putting them over on our vlog channel, but I haven't put it over here in a while. So this is everything we bought up, but keep in mind we're a family of three, and then I go once a week to the Walmart grocery pickup, and I don't like to cook. So this is just kind of what we need to get by. We do buy up and I have stuff on hand, so obviously we have more food of this than the house, but this is just what we needed to survive the week. So this is everything we picked up. Okay, I wanna thank Fetch Rewards for sponsoring today's video. It's a really cool free app that you download and you can start saving money on all the groceries you're buying. And I know all of you are buying groceries like crazy because we're all at home together. If I'm buying a ton of groceries, I know you guys are because we love eating out. But let me tell you how it works. Okay, first, all you have to do is go and download the free app. I'm gonna have the link down below in my description box as well as a promo code. So when you download the app and use my code, when you scan in your first receipt, you're gonna earn 3,000 reward points, which is amazing, so don't forget to use that code. Um, what's really cool is you can use paper receipts or you can do e-receipts. I know a lot of us are staying at home right now. We're not out in stores shopping, but if you're doing Walmart grocery pickup, Target pickup, whatever you do, and they send it to your email, you can link up your email super easy. And then with one touch, you can get those same reward points just by going through your email, or you can use the paper receipt just by taking a snapshot. It is so easy to do. And we're already buying grocery ladies. We're already buying them for us and our husbands and our kids, we're probably buying more than we ever have. So we might as well get some reward points and earn some free gift cards for ourselves so we can splurge. They have hundreds of different options for you to choose from. There's Target, Amazon, Starbucks, and so, so many more. And another cool feature is when you first sign up, you can actually use receipts from the past 14 days. So dig all those Walmart receipts out or link up your email so it can scan them all in. I know you guys have been shopping the last 14 days, so go ahead and earn rewards on those as well. I think this company is so cool. I love sharing companies with you that are free but save us money. As moms, we need little perks in our life. You're having to do all the grocery shopping and put it away and get it organized. You might as well earn some gift cards and get you a special drink or whatever your little guilty pleasure is. So definitely click on that link down below in my description box and don't forget to use that code and you'll earn those 3,000 points when you scan in your first receipt. And I wanna thank Fetch Rewards again for sponsoring today's video. Okay, and then lastly, I'm just gonna finish up by putting our K-Pods away. Um, if you notice, I pretty much take everything out of the container and put it away. I just think it looks pretty and it takes up less space. And so just taking the time and get it organized, I just like that look better. Now I'm gonna go ahead and disinfect my countertops. <laughs> and I did wanna address, I don't know if you could tell from the video, I was wiping and disinfecting everything down as I put it away. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with my countertop. Um, this cleaner that I'm using right here, it has to set for 10 minutes. So you're gonna just see me spray it and then leave it alone and do a few other things. Um, I'm just tidying up and then I'm gonna head on over into my dining room table and spray that off 
just from eating over there. So once I spray it, I just try to do a few chores to pass time and then I'll go back and wipe those off once it's just done sitting for a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these wiped down and then we're gonna be heading outside after this. I have a few DIYs um, for you guys today and the next one's gonna be outside, so definitely don't click off yet. Okay, so for this next project, I'm gonna need a white can of spray paint. I know white paint changes everything. I think it's in every DIY. And then I also have an extension cord and I'm gonna show you just in one second what I'm gonna be using this for, but those are the two items I'm gonna need. So over on our back patio, and this is a work in progress, definitely stay tuned. We're extending it and doing a lot of things, but we have that extension cord hanging down and I just hate seeing the green cord. And we have it because we have our patio lights plugged into it and then it runs down the wall. You can see I've tried to like brush paint it before, but we've had to move it so many times. It's just coming off and it's really too long. I had grabbed an extension cord that was way, way, way too long. So we're gonna switch over to the orange one that's a little bit shorter and I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint it this time so we can get it all the way around and not just one side of it. So we're just gonna spread it off across our grass. We live on an acre so we have tons of land. We can just go like go spray on it and when we mow it'll cut that top part off but you could also lay down like an old bed sheet or newspapers or do whatever you have to do but like I said we're just gonna spray it on the grass. Um, I always get asked what's my favorite can of spray paint and it's whichever one I can find so I'm not picky when it comes to spray paint I think they all work pretty much the same so we're gonna go ahead and spray this and let it dry and then we're gonna flip it and then spray the other side. Also, while I was out here, I wanted to talk about my fence. I know that seems kind of funny, but I always get a lot of questions about this fence and I always say I'll talk about it and I forget. So basically, it's just wood post with a chain link fence, but the chain link is wrapped in like rubber and then it's just stapled to it. So that's all it is. If you guys have any questions, I just thought I would show you some up close shots of it. Um, so if you're wanting to do it, but I did want to throw this in there for everybody that's been asking. Okay, now that that side's pretty much dry, we're gonna go ahead and flip it so we can spray the other side. I did wanna mention we did this the evening before just so it had plenty enough time to dry. When you're spray painting, I feel like things dry so easily, but I didn't know how this like coating would do. It's kind of like a rubber and it did take a little bit longer to dry than normal. So I was glad we did it like the evening before. So it had all evening to dry. So when we went to hang it, we didn't get paint on us or fingerprints on the white. So if you are gonna do this, definitely allow some time. You could do it in the morning and then hang it that evening. It's just by the time we realized we wanted to do it, it was already late in the evening. So we went ahead and sprayed it then. But here's where we're gonna hang it up I'm gonna tell you guys right here it looks so much better we should have done this a long time ago we do so many home projects where I just put them off because I think it's gonna take so long and it doesn't I should have done this one sooner but I'm glad to have this done before we get like the porch done so when we decorate it's not like messing with the look but as you can see we already have staples there from where the previous one was hanging so we're just putting it there and then pushing the little staple in and then I'll run it across the bottom as well but it just kind of blends in and you don't see it as much it's not like an eyesore anymore
So now when you look over at that wall, it just kind of blends in and you really don't notice it unless you know to look for it. The bottom I'll work on a little more when we actually go to decorate this patio and I can see the spots you can actually see it. I may stick it more, but for now I don't want to do too much work on the bottom just because we're not finished working out there. But now we're going to head on to some decorating and rearranging. I do have another like DIY, but it'll be towards the end of the video. But I had recently got the itch to switch to move out. Um, um, our little desk area of our dining room since I want to be redoing that. We're waiting on a new um, dining room table to come in. So I went ahead and pulled this out and thought, hey, this may work better in our bedroom. Um, the parts where Chase helps me with work, he has to do it late in the evening because when I finish up a video, he's prepping it the night before and I feel like we spend so much time apart in the evening. So it's kind of a nice having this in our bedroom because I can watch a show or lay in bed and answer comments and still talk to him while he's working. So I know this isn't like best Best case scenario I guess in a dream world we'd have you know eight rooms and nine bathrooms but we do have a smaller house but it's perfect for what we are we're just a family of three so we're gonna try it out in here you guys know it may get moved in a day in a week in a month you just never know what's gonna happen here but as of today I am liking it in our bedroom So I do have a thing with cords. I do not like seeing them. So I'll use like either duct tape or packing tape and I'll tape cords where you can't see them. So I'm gonna work on this cord a little bit. I did more off screen to make sure I couldn't see it. I do not like looking into a room and seeing cords. You're gonna see that again later in another DIY. So definitely stay tuned for that one. But I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this space and then I'll show you how it turned out. Like I mentioned, I've been doing a lot of like rearranging. So these are the only three frames or photos I have left to work with here in my master bedroom. I've been pulling a lot of prints out of here to put into other spaces. I'm gonna narrow out this gold one just right from the get go because I have zero gold in this room. So I'm gonna stick it over there in Chase's closet cause that's what I do because nobody goes in there. And now I'm gonna show you both of these so you can see which one you like better. Here's, um, you know, this is less, I think, personal. It's more almost stagey for the home. When I first hung it up, I loved it. I thought it looked so good. I still do, but definitely hang tight because I'm gonna show you another option as well. Okay, now I'm gonna try this a photo of us. It used to be on the wall to the left with two other photos, but I moved those into our living room. So I have this one left by itself. I actually need to order more of these. I love these prints. They're like printed on glass. But once I hung this above the bed, I just knew it was the right choice. Like I said, the other one was super pretty and it looked like perfect if we were showing our house. But I feel like this is just so much more personal because it's actually a photo of Chase and I. So I went ahead and went with this option and this is how it turned out. But now I have to find a spot for that other piece. So we'll be working on that next. Okay, my first thought was to hang it above the desk, but as I stood back and looked at it, there was just too many things on the right side of the room, and then that left wall is blank, so I went ahead and decided to leave it empty. I love empty walls. Um, it's just calming to me. So I thought I'd come in here and try taking the green wreath down and hanging it up in here. You'll see I'll hang it as a square or you can also hang it as a diamond. Um, I used to always hang this as a square and then a sweet subscriber was like, hang it as a diamond. And now I always try it both ways because typically I like it as a diamond better. So thank you to everyone who pointed it out. But I loved this look. You guys can see those were the photos that used to be in my bedroom. We've kind of changed up um, that wall. I was talking about that in my last video and then I put the diamond in there. Now we're gonna work on tweaking the space just a little bit. 
I know I'm about to redo this room um, with a new table and dining rug, but it was still driving me crazy and I'm still gonna get the itch to switch until everything gets here. So I don't like having the green plant and the green wreath. So I went ahead and put the wreath up and moved the plant out and then added my gold candlesticks. I feel like it's a good mix of rustic and glam. So I'm happy with how this space turned out too. And then I went ahead and moved my gold plant back into my coffee table. I feel like it looks best here. That gold pot just ties everything in really well. And then I love the pop of green in my living room. And I feel like it just gets great sunlight there. So here are how these spaces turned out. And then we'll be heading on to the next DIY project. So like I mentioned earlier, I have a thing with cords. I do not like seeing them. And we had moved this fireplace in here and hung the TV on the wall. And every night laying in bed, I can just see those cords and it drives me crazy. So over in our other spaces, here's our living room. We just tucked the cords behind the wall so you don't see them hanging down. Um, in our master bedroom, I had used this cord cover. I love these, but I feel like when a TV's hung, you should just hide the cords and it is so easy to do. So this is all the tools you're gonna need. So go ahead and see if your husband has those and tell him this literally takes under 10 minutes. So the first thing we're gonna do is kind of move the fireplace out so we can unhook the cords. And then we're just gonna take the TV off the wall and lay it on our bed. wonder where we hide like our modem and all of our cords and inter wireless internet it's all in this I love that this has like this indent so we can hide everything in there and then it pushes up against the wall so I wanted to show you just a real life photo that's what's behind that pretty fireplace and then this is the mount that's hung on the wall for the TV and then you hook this into the back of your TV and that's how it hangs on the wall so if you've never hung a TV you can buy that kit it's really easy to do but now Chase is making sure he's gonna miss the studs so we can cut a hole in the wall so that's what he's working on now and then he just cuts a little square out so that the electrical cord can go through it so I'll show you that here in a second. So here he is testing it, making sure that will fit through and it does. So once you get the hole at the very top of it, like where it plugs in, you also need one at the bottom where it will come out and plug into wherever your outlet is. So like I said, this is super easy. He's already done. All you do is move your TV off, cut those two little squares, make sure your cords can get fit through it. Now, if you're doing it in a living room, you may have more cords, but you can just run them through one at a time, or you can like clip them all together and run them through at once. Now I'm just gonna vacuum up all that little white dust from cutting it out. And then I'm also gonna vacuum up the back of my fireplace, knowing there was so much dust on that, I couldn't just push it back. So I'm gonna tidy up a little bit and then we'll show you how we hang the TV back up. Okay, now he's gonna run that TV cord all the way through. We really don't have anything else in here, so all we're trying to do is the TV cord. And so he puts the top in, and then he'll just dig his fingers in until he can finally find it, and then he'll just pull it out. And then that's the piece you're gonna plug into your surge protector or outlet, whatever you're gonna plug yours into. And then the top cord, we're gonna wait and plug in once our TV's hung. So we're gonna go ahead and push our fireplace back a little bit, and then we'll hang our TV on the wall, and then we'll get that cord it plugged in and it looks so much better it took less than 10 minutes so I know projects like this sometimes seem like it's gonna take all day or you don't know what you're doing it was super easy
Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean the TV off and the computer screen. Since we've been moving all of this stuff around, I feel like all I could see was fingerprints on it. It really shows on that black screen. So I'm gonna just take a few seconds and finish out the project. It's like, go ahead and do that cherry on top. If you're gonna hang the TV, go ahead and clean it at the end. Then when you lay in bed, it's absolutely perfect. And I think those small details really matter. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum and then this room will be complete and I'll show you exactly how it turned out. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today and making it until the end of today's video. Definitely hit that like button if you did so I know you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to click on the link down below in my description box and use the code Ashley when you're downloading the app and start saving on all those groceries with the Fetch Rewards app. I'm seriously loving it. So thanks to them again for sponsoring today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!